Hey Floss Tube. Welcome back to the Stitch Show. My name is Kyleen, also known here as CCL Stitches here and on you, um, Instagram. I am back a lot sooner than I thought I would be back. Um, but over the past week since I posted my first Floss Tube, I have received so much love that I was motivated to come back and spend my Saturday night with you guys. This is the third time I am uh, filming this. I used my phone and it kept saying I had too much storage. So I am trying for the third and final time. I need to offload a lot of my, my pictures. I think that's what's taking up most of my... Uh, most of my storage, but I'm, I can't really figure out how. Um, if you know, if you are uh, iPhone savvy, let me know how I can offload my pictures. Anyway, I thought I'd come back um, and do my full coverage whips. I only have a few. Um, I'm also gonna do a sprinkle of stash, some haul, um, and show you what I've been working on the last week or so. So let's get to it. Um, I have some old biz to clear up um, from previous, uh, from my previous video. I realized I never explained to you guys what my name, um, CCL Stitches on here meant. It's not my name, um, but CCL Stitches stands for Crazy Cat Lady Stitches. That is why I like cats. I like cats so much. I named my YouTube and IG handle after. <laughs> cats cross stitch, they go together, just like cheese and wine. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but YouTube did quite the job of picking my first thumbnail of my first video. I literally look like I am suppressing a fart on my thumbnail. And I just thought it was so funny. I was like, come on, YouTube, you can do better than that. So hopefully they pick a cuter picture this time. Um, and maybe I'll figure out how to uh, uh, make a thumbnail and insert it. Um, but moving on, um, I had made a comment in my first video when I was showing my uh, Autumn Queen Mirabilia. I had said something, um, the picture that came with the pattern itself. I, I thought I was being bamboozled when I bought the pattern um, from a sec from secondary that um, somebody had switched out like the cardstock photo and put in a picture. But I was, I learned from a couple of you guys that the older patterns actually had the um, real photos as the uh, picture on the pattern. So thank you for that information. I did not know that. I was misinformed and I wanted to make it right. So thank you. See, you learn everything here. Um, another thing was a uh, few people reach out to me. They wanted to know the silk used in um, the death by cross stitch uh, pattern that I have. Um, I didn't know at the time what it was. I totally forgot because I had bought it so um, far back, like a couple years ago. Um, but I found the information. It's from a company called Silks For You. It's Silks, the number four, and the letter U. They have their own website. It's a Shopify website. Um, if you Google Silks For You, it pops right up. It's an Australian company, and they make beautiful silk. I actually found, they sell it in Hanks, not... Um, little like DMC skeins they come in hanks and I found the hank that the silk came in and some interesting information as I was researching they've been dyeing silks for over 20 years they have a very large array of colors look how beautiful and it's so shiny too it's so soft and a hank they said of silk equates to about 28 skeins of like DMC, 28. So I have plenty for my pattern and probably another couple patterns after that. So, and it's actually worth the money. I think they sell these Hanks for 30, $30. Well worth it. Cause it's such a beautiful silk. So uh, they do not have um, 
names for their colors. They have numbers. So this colorway is called PB131, PB131. You go to their website, you go under their collections, and they list all their um, uh, colors by the uh, PB and then a number after. So that's how I found that. Um, and yeah, so another thing, um, just a little disclaimer, I'm gonna get serious just for a minute. Um, I have never received so much love for anything in my life. Your comments have given me so much joy, so much motivation. I, like people talk about it all the time, floss tubers, like the, the love that you re is received on the other end of this when you do post a floss tube is absolutely insane. I literally was like, tearing up at, at like the most encouraging comments um that you guys left so i really appreciate that on the other hand you know everybody is going to run into um you know comments from um people that you know aren't necessarily i guess positive and that's okay like i i get it um there was a particular comment um, where she was very nice. Um, she left me a comment, you know, great video. I loved your mirrors. Um, it gave her joy to watch, but she was disappointed in a kit that I showed. Um, and she was hoping, you know, um, I guess because it, she said it was a Russian kit that, um, she was hoping that that would be the only one. And I was, I was very diplomatic in my answer. You know, I said, you know, thanks for finding me. And, you know, I prefer to stay out of political matters when it comes to cross stitch. Um, but I appreciate that information. Um, and, um, you know, and uh, she, I got a response back saying, you know, it's not about politics, it's about lives and, and, and so on. So to stop the fires burning, um, and out of respect for this particular commenter, I deleted the thread and I just wanted to bring up this point. Um, if you make an assumption that what I show is me, um, having, taking a side in some sort of, um, I guess political thing, it's, you're assuming and you know what they say about assuming you make an ass out of you and me. Um, that's kind of how it felt. So, but to do my due diligence, I did research. I was like, okay, I uh, just trying to understand where she was coming from. I did research on the kits that I have. I have a ton of Dimensions kits. I have one, the one Riolis kit that I showed. I have a Merejka kit and I have a couple Lenarte kits. The Riolis kits, the Riolis company is based in Lithuania. As far as I know, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, Lithuania has been a sovereign country since the 1990s. 1991, I believe. Mareczka, that is a company based out of Poland. I have Polish heritage, proud of my Polish heritage. And the Lenarte kits are based out of Belgium. I absolutely love the artwork of these kits. These designers make some of the most beautiful cross stitch patterns and I will gladly spend my money to stitch hours and hours to make them come to life. I will not discriminate against anybody, no matter what background you're from. I am here to bring, cross stitch is an escape from what's, everything's going on in the world, right? At least for me it is, and I know it is for a lot of you guys. 
I find joy in finding beautiful patterns made by beautiful people of all different backgrounds, races, creeds, colors, styles, cultures, no matter what's going on in the world. We're all human, right? We all bleed the same way. And I say this from a peaceful heart that I ask you to not assume where I buy kits from and that whatever kits that I, whatever cross stitch patterns that I do do does not define what I, be, I guess, believe in politically. I'm trying to be politically correct here. I didn't think I'd have to do this, but I'm sorry if you felt offended, um, but you also can't assume. And this is a disclaimer. It's the last, first and last time that I'm going to mention it. So let's all get along together and just enjoy the beautiful artwork of all these designers from every single part of the world, right? Okay. Moving on. Um, I forgot a couple of whips, speaking of. Um, the whips, I forgot two. One was my travel whip and another one was a whip I had hidden away in a bag because I had been stitching it while my grandma was in the hospital and I actually had started it while she was there. Um, it is a Mareshka kit. It's called Summer Afternoon. I started this on 9-1-23. And this one has special meaning to me. Okay. It's a kitty in a window. Look how beautiful those flowers are. This cat, the way that she is in the window, this is my cat Mika. This is her coloring. She has more white on her back, but she lives to lay by my window. So I was like, I have to get this kit. So I started it in the hospital, um, you know, sitting bedside next to my grandma while she was, um, you know, still here. And she actually was pretty coherent and she see me stitching. And she's like, what are you working on? And I show her, and she's like, oh, she was like, oh, that's so cute. So this one's gonna be a special one to me. Um, because of the memories tied with it, of course. So this was a center start. I have it in my Q-snap, okay? And it starts right where the flower, that big yellow flower is. So, and I am going up towards the right. So, that's my one whip. Works up beautifully, I'm using all the kit stuff, okay? And then my second hidden whip is in my cute little cross stitching keeps me out of the psych ward thing bag. This bag is adorable. Um, I don't know where I got it though. I forget. I'm sorry. Might have been Amazon. But I have Beachy Keen by Country Cottage Needleworks in here. It's just a small. I thought it was really cute. I'm using all the called fours except for one thread. <coughs> Excuse me. I switched out a um I switched out a classic color work thread. So instead of Classic Color Works Ripe Melon it calls for. I'm using um, Sunset, which is like a pinky color. Um, I actually took this with me when I went to Mexico with my husband, but I only got the top done. I only did a few stitches here and there in the mornings when I sat out on the balcony drinking my coffee overlooking the, the uh, ocean on the Mexican coast. It was picturesque to say the least absolutely beautiful um but yeah those are the two whips that I um forgot to show and I just counted my whip count up and I believe I have hold on I can because I write them all out um I have a number and it's not nearly as scary 
38 whips. It's not bad. My husband would beg to differ. Oh my God, you have so many starts, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Sorry, honey. But if only you saw some of these floss tubers that have the most amazing floss tubes and they have two times, three times my whips. And you know what? The more whips, the merrier, right? He's like, why can't you finish any? He knows about my cross stitch channel now, or a floss tube. I told him over dinner last night after uh, have, getting, working the courage up um, after drinking a margarita when we went out to dinner. <laughs> and surprisingly, he doesn't want to divorce me. So it's a good thing, right? I said, it's a big community. We all get together. We share videos. We share what we're working on, what fabrics we use. And he kind of was like, mm, okay. If it makes you happy, it brings me so much joy. Right? I know. All right, moving on. Um, I'm gonna do full coverage whips real quick. I only have a few. Um, my first one is the one that I've been working on most often. I can't put it down actually. This, I'm gonna pull up my pattern keeper cause it's easier to share um, stats and pictures and stuff like that. So the first one I uh, worked on or am working on is um, and I'm currently working on now is Mini Deer Creek. It's a heaven and earth design and it's uh, artwork is by Donna Gelsinger. She is very well known with heaven and earth des design. She has beautiful patterns. I love the way that she does um, animals. They are so lifelike yet so adorable. So this is Mini Deer Creek. I'm gonna try to get my uh, ring light out of the way. The colors get a little blown out from the ring light, but isn't that so sweet? This is a pretty popular one. I see this done a lot. Um, I'm actually doing this as a gift for my dad since he is uh, the outdoorsman huntsman type. Um, I know he will love this. This is a 250 by 312. Um, I am... 2,300 stitches out of 78,000, and this is 2.89%. Okay. I love the way these stitches are laying. This is actually a 14 count. So this thing is gonna be huge, just for the fact it's such a, a large count. But I love the way that the stitches um, lay. You can see a little bit of the coverage, but it's, um, it's very, it, it looks very neat. And if he's going to be hanging, he's going to hang this up. I'm going to get it framed for him. He, you're going to be looking at it from far away. So it's going to be an amazing picture from far away. Um, I had started doing this, uh, the parking method, but I like weaved in all of my, um, threads and just went wherever. So I'm working on the first page. Um, this is a whip that I'm working on. Um, I am doing a my first challenge. Um, what is it called? Full Coverage Fanatics on Facebook. They have a epic challenge journey where you the amount of stitches equates to the amount of kilometers uh, go, doing a journey. Um, uh, I don't know, it, her name is uh, Beth Morvid Stitches. She's also doing this as well. I'm working on number uh, number one, and you have to do 3,057 um, stitches, which equates to kilometers, and that is called Pony Express. I guess that's where we're going. These places are real and imaginary, so quite a lot of stitches um I think I have how many do I have so far a uh, thousand three hundred ten so doing pretty good my next hade was my first or full coverage another hade heaven and earth design was the first one I ever purchased um I saw this on the heaven and earth website 
and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to stitch that for my beach house. I don't care how long it takes. It is beautiful. It's called Mer Fairy. The artwork is by Josephine Wall. Josephine Wall has amazing, fantastical, colorful patterns, but the confetti is outrageous. Um, it is, but it's also well worth it. So beautiful. This is my largest pattern. Uh, this, I did a super sized max color, of course, and this is going to be 744 by 999. Um, I am doing this on a 25 count potato Lugana. I started off on, a, this is actually a restart. I started off on a 25 count easy grid and it got way too bulky doing um uh i was actually doing 10 stitch two over two although this is the same count it's a lugana it's softer and it holds the tension or it stays taut a lot better um uh the tightness and i can easily do stitching um 10 stitch much better um, so there's that. I'm gritting it out myself. This is going to take me like five years, but I love it. It's so pretty. Five years, maybe 10 years. I'm so excited. That's a first page done with that one. Um, my next one is Healing Angel. Uh, oh, stats. I have stats for, um, uh, Mer Fairy. Hold on. Mer Fairy is, I have... 10,000 stitches out of 743,000, 1.37%. <laughs> yeah, she's a big girl. Um, my next one is The Sewing Desk by Amy Stewart, artwork by Amy Stewart. Her, she is another big artist um, for Heaven and Earth Designs. She makes beautiful, colorful patterns with so much going on that you love stitching it. Um, look how pretty that is. It's my ode to sewing. I would love to hang this up in my sewing room. Um, this is 525 by 375. I'm doing this on a 20 count, um, easy guide Ada. And I have 2,400 out of 196,000 stitches for a total of 1.25%. This one I was, um, sticking to doing the parking method and I was doing a parking method across for a full page, but I was like, I wanna see more progress and colors. So I just picked a little chunk and started to make my way down. And I I loved it, I love the colors. Look at that, rainbows, rainbow colors, of course, right? Um, the other one, I don't have these in a Q-Snap, I took these out. Uh, my next one is called Healing Angel, once again, by, um, it's a, another Heaven and Earth, and it's by Josephine Wall. I started this back on an 11, uh, November of 21. It's stitched on 28 count Easy Guide, and it's one over one full cross. This is my first one over one, and one over one full cross on easy, um, 28 count is perfect. Um, let me show you the picture. Look how beautiful. Look at all those rainbow colors and it's pastel rainbow. This makes me um, think of uh, nursing. It's called Healing Angel. Not that I think I'm an angel, but it just reminds me of being a nurse. You know, nurses try to heal. That's what we do, right? This is 625 by 472. I have 3,300 stitches out of 295,000, 1.13%. And that's what it looks like. 
you can see like the um the waves of color coming in but there really isn't that many colors there's only like maybe seven or eight colors but you know the way that it's it's uh charted out you could make you see all those waves I'm starting in the dark part first, so I, it gives me motivated to work towards the fun, fun rainbow stuff. So that's Healing Angel. My next one is called Mini Golden Rose. Artist is um, Chris Ortega. He does beautiful portraits of um, men and women. Um, the faces of his women are so angelic and ethereal looking. They're be absolutely beautiful and very lifelike. Um, so that's her. Look how pretty her face is. In the greens and oranges. I just, I love these colors. So pretty. Um, this is 325 by 232. Um, and I am doing this on a 16 count Ada. It's by Loops and Threads from, uh, Michael's, Michael's Craft. And I love the way that this is working up. I'm almost to her eyes. I'm so excited. I'm doing the beautiful jewel that's sitting on her forehead right now. But yeah, the coverage on this, it's two over two full cross and it's beautiful. I love it. This, um, the orangey color would match my um, dining room. Um, it's an orange peachy color. And uh, I think I'm going to hang it up there once I'm done. Pretty ladies. Um, this is 3,400 stitches out of 75,000 for a total of 4.56%. <clears throat> and my last um, one that I have in my full coverage is not technically a full coverage whip, but I had it physically in with my full coverages um, in storage. Um, this is a Lenarte kit. This kit is, um, I think, out of print. I bought this out on secondary, and it's an older kit. I think it's from the early 90s. It's uh, part of their Romance Cross Stitch Collection. And this is called <clears throat> Harmony, I believe. Close Harmony. And it does have that early 90s aesthetic vibe, I feel. Um, light pastels, ceramic decor in the houses with um, couches with the plastic covers on the top on it. Yeah. But I love it. I picture this is me and my husband and we're walking on the beach with the seagulls in the background. Although these seagulls are probably not as aggressive as the seagulls down in Wildwood. They are aggressive. You can't eat around them. They will steal your food right out of your hand sitting on the beach and they have, they have, they don't give any Fs at all. So I'm doing everything by the kit. This is on a 30 count linen. Um, and I started, this is all white. You can't, you can barely see. Oh, there we go. Um, this is where it starts. I'm waking, making my way down. That's the, uh, the hair of the guy. And um, this is definitely full coverage. Yeah, so. We're keeping it in the full coverage. In the full coverage section. <clears throat> so those are my full coverages. I am going to go through, uh, I figured I'd show you a little bit of my um, stash. Not a patterns or anything, but more of my stitchy, um, my stitchy utensils and little favorite things that I have. I did say in my last um, YouTube video that I would show you guys my, um, the way I keep my master set of DMC, my storage um, thing. So, 
here it is. Yes, it's in here. I use what's called um, Annie's Keepers. It's not very, I haven't seen many people use these, but I did find this through um, Teresa Little Stitcher's Floss Tube. Um, these are awesome. Annie's Keepers comes with these white hangers that you hang in a file folder. Um, the file folder itself, this black box, I got off Amazon. I just searched portable file um, uh, file storage and it popped up. Two of these can hold a full set of DMC along with the new colors. I split it in half. I go lowest numbers up to up to eight the eight hundredths and then my second box holds nine hundredths and above including um the new colors zero one zero two yeah so they're they are floss drops these detach you get a certain amount of these i forget if they come in uh hundredths or or what but i had to buy multiple packs of these for the full set of dmc um they come with also plain white stickers these yeah the white ones i was for a while just putting in the numbers uh, writing in the numbers but on etsy i found um these colored labels i think i just search i don't remember i think i just searched like dmc color labels and these popped up it's much easier to the way that I fill this up. I did spend a few hours and um, uh, put these on the floss drops and prepare them, but I got to a point where I was like, eh, this is, this is getting a lot. I was like, let's just floss drop it up as I go. So you can see some of them still don't have, um, I just haven't ran into this particular color in a pattern yet. So what I do is when I do run into a color that needs to be filled, I just pull it from this bag here and stick it in and make the floss drop. And that's it. That's my storage system. Um, so portability wise, of course, it's not as portable as say like a full bobbinated set in a little box, but this works for me. You literally open it up. It sits right next to me at my, my seat. I go through here, I'm like, hmm, I need 37.78. Of course, it's one that's not done yet, but pull it out. You pull your one string, your one strand, I mean. And then of course I have stickers, unicorns. These are the unicorns from Fan Disney's Fantasia. Does anybody remember Fantasia? I used to watch Disney's Fantasia over and over and over again on my VHS, VHS tape when I was a kid. Loved the music, loved the cartoons to go along with the music, loved it, the animations. And of course the unicorn one was my favorite. <laughs> Um, some stitchy utensils that I love. Notions utensils. I like utensils better. Let me put this up a little bit. My head's getting cut off. Um, let's see. My needle holder. Stitching and bitching. Magnetic. And I have a little three-tiered, um, utility, um, rolling cart that sits next to me at, at my stitchy spot. And my husband um, put on um, a magnet strip on it. I think I got it from a floss tube, the idea of the magnet strip. And um, yeah, this is magnetized. So it just sticks right on this, uh, this strip along with all my needle miners. So that's awesome. Another favorite is this little guy. This is, you know, your normal threader um sometimes i'm a liquor sorry <laughs> um 
but a lot of the times when I'm working in my on my uh, my hades, I use as much of the thread as possible to go as far as I can. And it's so it gets real real short. And sometimes if the needle comes out, I'm like, oh my god, I can't get to the to the thread to 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 lick it to get it back in the needle. This little guy, of course, does the trick. And of course it has a unicorn on it. So I never lose it. Another thing I can't live without is my snag nabbit. Everybody has these. You can get them. They're readily available. They help lay your stitches nicely when your stitches pop off the uh, fabric. Put it in, pull it out from underneath, and it lays the, the stitch flat. And last but not least is a laying tool. This is my best friend. I use this on when I do, um, when I stitch with both hands um, in my uh, Lowry, I use a Lowry uh, floor stand. I use this, I use it on my Chatelaines. It lays the stitches down very nicely. Um, railroading stitches helps too, but sometimes they still look a little wonky. This lays them down perfectly. Um, how do I describe it? So when you're putting the needle and thread down into the fabric and you're pulling and you get your little loop and it gets smaller and smaller until the, the, the leg of the cross lays, you stick this in the loop and it straightens out the two strands and you pull and you pull it all the way, you know, you're pulling your needle and thread from, from underneath and you just lay your cross, the leg of your cross down, and it's perfectly straight. It's very finicky to use that. You have to get used to it. Um, and you just keep at it and it just becomes second nature. I don't use it on everything, but my Chatelaines, I feel as like they're like super fancy. So I have to be like, have the stitches lay really nice. So, and let's see, needles. I use Bohin needles, the tapestry needles. They've been a favorite of mine. I used to use Pat's favorite needle, Pat Carson, um, but I can't find them anywhere. I think they went out of business because I think, I wanna say Pat passed away but I loved her needles. They were like the gold plated eyes and they just slid through fabric like butter. And I love them and I can't find them anywhere. So if you guys got the hookup, let me know. Um, okay, moving on. Let's go through haul, shall we? This haul has accumulated over the past month since Christmas. I said before, my birthday is December 16th, so with that and Christmas, I got a little bit of birthday slash Christmas cash, and it was burning a hole in my pocket, so I decided to do a little shopping. Um, sorry, Han. <laughs> but this is all stuff that I, um, you know, bought over the past month. Excuse me, I need a, I need a sip. I got my Celsius. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to offend if you don't like those, the noises. I hope I didn't make any. So my first little um, piece of haul, since this is the third time doing the, the video, I actually opened this up in my first video. I was leaving it, it's um, some fabric. Cause it was packaged up so cute. And then I had this cute little, um, cute little note left by the, um, the dyer. So uh, this is Jackson Fabric Arts. Um, it is the hemp linen. I, I, I stitched my um, sleeping uh, princess on. It's that turquoise one and it's so soft. Um, I absolutely love this fabric. So 
um, Sarah from da Jackson Fabric Arts had posted some new um, colors that she had um, recently done. And I was like, yep, need that one, need that one, need that one. So she sent me, I got three pieces and she sent me this cute little note. She said, dear Kylene, thanks so much for your continued support. I do appreciate your business. I hope you love these hues. Best wishes, Sarah. So Sarah, these hues are amazing. She always gives a little bit of a test piece of a different color um, than what you order. So this is a blue, a mottled blue color. It's beautiful. It is called Kirana. Kirana? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Kirana. But it's 100% hemp and this is 32 count cross stitch linen. My first one is called Norfolk. These are all 32 count. 32 counts been my jam. I do have some higher counts. I plan on trying, just haven't gotten that braid yet. Look at that modeling. How beautiful is that? And it's so soft. I can't wait to stitch with this. I have to find a good pattern. The ideas. Next one is called London Fog. And this modeling, oh my God. Look at that. Look at the browns. This is like a light brownish color, but like the light color actually looks almost like a blue periwinkle. But how cool is that modeling? I can see me doing like a real old Maybe even a Quaker on there. Um, and the one that sold me, the color that sold me with this purchase is called Air. A-Y-R. Air. This is probably one of my favorite colors. Look at this lavender with the bluish hue to it. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Sarah, you do beautiful work, girl. Love it. I also got my monthly um my monthly uh installment of fabric from Fiberlicious. I do her 32 count linen. Um, this is called Glimmering Dreams. I think I'm late enough, like I got this maybe a couple weeks ago or a week, a week ago that if you want to be surprised with your monthly, um, I think I'm past that point so I can show it. Plus I think she also gives sneak peeks on her Instagram, so shouldn't be a shock. Ready? If you want to be surprised, look away. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is definitely a glimmering dream, isn't it? Definitely. Look at the greens and purples. And the pinks. Just amazing. I can't. I can't even. So many plans. So many plans. All right. Another piece of fabric I got from, I actually got from AliExpress. Um, I just wanted to try it out. I had heard about the hand dyed fabric on there and it was actually pretty good for the prices. And I must say, I just Google or Googled. I looked in their app. I just um, looked up um, hand dyed cross stitch fabric and you know, a bunch of different companies come up, but I just picked the ones that look like they had the, you know, kind of my jam, the crazy colors. And this is what I got. It doesn't have a name or anything. No names. This is just counts. This is an 18 count Ada. On the crunch scale, 10 being the crunchiest, I give this mm, a seven. But the modeling is beautiful. I was quite impressed. Pinks, blues, purples, definitely my jam. I'm actually excited to use this and might be a returning customer. 
Um, who got me to that? Jen, the caffeinated crafter. She uses um, fabric from there. And also her name is Alara. She is a full coverage cross stitch girly. Um, she does beautiful, beautiful, fantastical, colorful, um, full coverages. And her channel is awesome and I think she's darling. So hi Alara, I'm a fan, if you're watching. <laughs> All right. All right, haul from an Etsy shop. Ones that I have purchased from multiple times and it is called the Crafty Grimalkin. The Crafty Grimalkin. She has a ton of stuff in her in her um in her um store, fabric, everything that you could want cross stitch wise. Great customer service and a wide variety of everything that you would want as a cross stitcher. This time around, I did buy some fabric. This is Milk and Honey from Fiber on a Whim. It is a fat quarter of 16 count Ada. I don't have any, um, I wanted to broaden my, my stash of Ada because I've recently gotten back into Ada. Um, I first started with it and then I, I learned how to stitch on linen and I was like, linen, 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 I need linen. But now I'm back to like, oh, I want to do Ada again because I like them both. And it's kind of blowing it out, but it what you picture milk and honey, that is what this is. Very beautiful neutral. Okay. Um, also from Fiber on a Whim, I got the color Silver Fox and it's a 32 count linen. It's another, I was, I, I know I have crazy color and I love color, but with some of my patterns, I do need a more um, muted neutral color. So this will be one of them. It's really pretty. It's more, it's coming up blue, but it's actually more green, greenish silver. So, and then I got, one more from one more um, piece of fabric from them, but I'm gonna show that in my plans. And then I got a pattern, of course, the newest. Well, not the newest, because number three just was released. The um, garden birdhouse of the fabulous houses um, thing from uh, the series from Cottage Garden Samplings. Oh, I love, love their patterns. This is number two, the castle. Look how, this is beautiful. I mean, everybody's going ape shit over um, this whole series right now and for good reason, because it's so nice. So, that's that from the Crafty Grimalkin. I, I had um, um, some fun on eBay recently, and I was the recipient of an out-of-print pattern from Birds of a Feather called Curious as a Cat. This was one of those ones that I think they were auctioning off, but I got it for the asking price. So I guess I was like auctioning against myself because I was like the only one there. But look how cute that is. When's this from? I wish it had a year on it. I like knowing the years. But anyway, I know it's out of print, but I thought this was super cute. And I do like the birds of a feather patterns. Um, I picked up some paper patterns um, off of eBay from Waxing Moon Designs. My last uh, video, I said that Waxing Moon um, was out out of out of print or wasn't. Um, I misspoke. 
Waxing Moon Designs has an Etsy shop. They sell um, PDF patterns. I like their older patterns that come on paper and a lot of them are out of print. So I picked up, this is Autumn Nap. Okay. I do, and it came with the little star button that goes with it. So that's a little kitty trying to get the ring light out of the way. Isn't that cute? Little sleeping kitty. Uh, next waxing moon is Autumn Stack. This is really cute. Look at that turkey. And a little scarecrow. I love the autumn patterns. Um, another autumn pattern is Autumn Minis. And there's a trio of them. The turkey is what sold me. The turkey is really cute. I don't know if you can see it. But there's that one. And then this is Winter Stack. This one, this stack is absolutely adorable. Look at that polar bear. So cute. Um, and this one, I'm not going to take out a thing. I was pleasantly surprised. This one's called Simply Autumn. And I got bobbinated floss with it. That was nice. I didn't even realize. So that was a little nice surprise. And there's Autumn. Again, there's another adorable little turkey in there. It's so cute. And then another birds of a feather pattern I found. This is called Lost Spirits. And the picture is really hard to read the words, but I'm reading the pattern and it says, Lost Spirits do not embody me on this night of All Hallows Eve. And you can do, it's, this must be from 2001 because it's on the chart. It has it charted for 2001. Well, get the ring light out of the way. But yeah, I love the bats and the pumpkin. So I thought that was really cute. So that's my little eBay haul. I love eBay. eBay. Take all my money, eBay. Um, one thing that I did, I've always wanted to get was one of these, um, DMC, um, floss, uh, lists. I have the one that's just paper, but I really wanted the one with actual floss on it. And I got this off of Etsy. Um, because I'm always afraid I'm going to run out of floss from my DMC kits and you know with or uh, kits that use DMC so this I can actually match correctly and figure out what color I would need or if I'm doing conversions this would be very helpful I think so yeah I got that recently um so many patterns all right so I've always wanted to do a um stocking for me and my husband I do have a stocking that I started for myself I'm going to show that in my current whips but my husband's stocking I wanted to try um a stocking from Shepherd's Bush because they're just so beautiful and classic looking. So I was looking through all the stockings and I found Thomas's stocking. And it just so happens to be that my husband's name is Thomas. But I didn't choose this pattern because it said Thomas's stocking, I swear. I actually like this one the best for him, so. I am super stoked to do this one. Look at that Santa. I love his his hat and his little striped shirt. So, honey, if you're watching, you're going to get a stocking in a few years. <laughs> oh, 
God, I cracked myself up. All right. So a couple of these patterns I did get um, off Etsy. I totally forget what um, shop these were because this is, was, I bought them before I even knew I was going to work up the nerve to do a floss tube. But this is the Calico Confectionery and this is from Seasonal Cats number four and it's called Spring Gatherer. These patterns are readily available. Just go on either Etsy or your favorite shop. You could probably find them. But look how pretty that is. I am ready for spring. I don't know about you guys. We just had snow here yesterday. We got about six inches, but the, in Philly, I'm from Philly. Um, we haven't had measurable snow in two years. So the six inches was quite a shock to us. But I had off from work. Yeah. My next one is from Crochet Go Go. And this is Spring Basket. Isn't that sweet? Look at the bunnies. So nice. Another Crochet A Go Go. And of course, it's fish. Fish. Cat holding a fish. And it's called The Little Cat. The little cat. Isn't that cute? And then this is a Barbara Anna design. And this is, of course, called Spring Cat. Found all the cute cat patterns. Give me them all. I don't know if I'll ever stitch them all, but I, I want them all. I love Barana's designs. They're so cool. I think they're so whimsical and the color she uses is awesome. So that's that one. And then Kind and Gentle Woodland Holiday Samper, Sampler by Artful Offerings. This one was popular this year and I finally got it. Look at the reindeer wearing this striped getup, rubbing noses with the rabbits. I can't, so cute. Uh, blue flower, this is Spooky Autumn Smalls. I love the bat. Yeah, of course, there's the cats, but look at that bat, it's so cute. And then the blue flower again, 12 cats of Christmas. I hope you guys aren't getting tired of seeing the cats because I will never be. Crazy cat lady, duh. And then one more, letters for mermaids. As you know, I started the letter A for my um, niece Aria for her first birthday. Hopefully I can get that done. But then I wanted to do my letter, the K. Look how pretty that mermaid is. So pretty. And then I was, um, I was, uh, watching a floss tube and this company is new to me. Um, Jen, the caffeinated crafter had mentioned this on her channel. Um, volcano stitching.com. It is a company. It's a hand dyer. Um, and I wanted to try them out and what sold me was I got a piece of their, you know, crazy colorful fabric. They have beautiful fabrics, um, the colors actually, but they also sell, um, mystery boxes and it, you can get a dog theme mystery box or a cat theme mystery box. Guess which one I got? Yes, I got the cat themed mystery box, but I also picked up, um, one of their single um, pieces of fabric. Um, it does not have a name. Um, this is 32 count opal linen. Um, and it says uh, the number 1714. But look at this. How awesome is this? That is so cool. This 
this is a spring colored hot mess in a beautiful way and I love it and you, you can't see can you see the sparkle yeah look how sparkly my thoughts on this fabric was I was going to do Lovebirds by Autumn Lane Stitchery for this because that is like the sponsored pattern for the Queen City Stitch Retreat this year. It's a monochromatic piece. So I was thinking I was going to use this crazy linen color and do like a dark thread. I'm, I'm not going to do like a variegated. I'm going to do a single color because I think this is enough craziness in the color on the fabric going on. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then I'll show you my box. Here's my cat theme box. Came with that cute little tissue paper. And it came with... I'll show you the notions first. Look at these scissors with the scissor fob with a orange tabby. I can't. The scissors are, that's kitties. They're amazing. Got some Krynik. Nice. I got Thread Magic. Always can use some more. Got a couple of needle minders here. Look at that cute little mouse. And a pretty bird. Pack of Bohin, thank you. My needle of choice. And then I have some finishing um, things. Look at that button, cat button. And then this cute little ribbon. It also came with a pattern. Uh, pattern is uh, by Fairy Wool in the Wood and it's called Cat's Life. Let's see. Look how cute that is. I love it. And it came with fabric. Cat Lady, look at that fabric. This is the linen it looks like. It is, I don't know, it doesn't tell me what count it is, but it looks like a 32 count. Yeah, I think it's a 32 count. And then I got um, three pieces of neutral linen in the box as well, um, neutral colors. One color I actually have in my plans, so I'll show that to you later. This is, it's, and it's all 32 count. Pretty brown, I do like the modeling. And I needed more neutrals. And this is like a beautiful bluish slate gray color. It's a little darker than when it's showing up, but that's what came in my box. How awesome is that? Thank you, Volcano Stitching. Volcanostitching.com. Definitely check out their colors, their color fabrics. They're awesome. And that's, that's my haul. It's a lot, but it's been from actually the last couple of months. So, um, where's my notes? I need to look at my notes. Let me do, so I'm going to do my current whips. You know, it's a Saturday night. We're at an hour. Why don't we just keep on partying it up, right? So what I've worked on since I've seen you last, I posted on Instagram working on my, um, Autism Gnome, and this is a gift for my friend. Um, 16 count country French latte Ada from Weichel. Okay. And I worked on this big red piece bad boy. Um, this is actually two puzzle pieces. Uh, you'll be able to differentiate them after I backstitch, but yeah. That's 500 and some, something stitches. Isn't that crazy? I worked on this um, for one night and then I did a little bit 
um, before work the other day. Um, what else? I worked the on my other whip, um, my full coverage whip was my mini Deer Creek because I was working on the Epic Journey. And I did a little bit more on my Letters from Mermaids, my A. A little bit more of the border. The last time you saw it, you only had you only had the, the copper colored um, piece for, to like right here and then a, a little bit of this uh, whitish blue. And I did some more, worked my way down. It's really pretty. It's gonna look so cute. Okay. And then, since yesterday was a snow day for me, what better way to celebrate than a snow day start? And a perfect start it was. I was sitting in my stitchy spot and I watched it snow all day while my husband laid next to me on the couch while I sat in my chair. And we just had a really nice peaceful day watching the snow fall. And he was, you know, watching movies and stuff, but. Um, this is a dimensions kit. It's called, it's my stocking that I'm doing for myself. It's called Snow Bear Stocking. Look at those bears. The bears sold me. I was going to do, um, a more retro looking one, but I was like, I can't not stitch this for myself. And I just love it. I'm working on the top section right here. I'm using all the called fours. This is a 14 count... 10 out of 10 crunchy Asia, Ada, but it's okay. That is 350 something half stitches using four strands. It is it's so funny. I was reading the directions to do it and they're like, Use the needle that came with the kit. You will find that the needle slides easily through the fabric with the thread. And I was like, that is a damn lie because you're making me use four strands doing half stitch. My fingers hurt. Damn lie. <laughs> well, yeah, that's my, my, snow day, my snow day start. I wanted to do a winter pattern, so I chose that. So those are my current whips. So I don't know how often I'm gonna do videos, but um, I figured we can do something cause I don't really, you know, I have anxiety when it comes to choosing what I need to, to pick to work on. So as Jen the caffeinated crafter does and a bunch of other people do they put their all their whips names in a bin and they choose from the bin so I figured I could do that on camera I am going to limit myself to three picks in addition to um, my focus pieces the autism gnome um, mini deer creek um, and my letters for mermaids for my for my niece. So I'm gonna do three more picks. Hold please, I gotta get my little Tupperware bin. Hold please. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming in. Here I come. Okay, I'm back. Here's all my whips. Oh, you're shaking. Oh, there's an earthquake. Sorry. So let's pack, shall we? All right, number one. I went and grabbed my bin of whips too, so. Hurry 
Teresa Wensler Mermaid again. Oh, the blendiest of blends. Um, my goal, my number two goal, this is a second pick of this. Um, my number two goal for this is 400 stitches focusing on the tail. Um, I'll show you it real quick. Um, I don't have my actual progress, but if you see my last video, you'll see it. So that's what it looks like. And I have 300 stitches done in her navel area of her uh, mermaid tail. I started in the center. So that's okay. We'll, we'll, go, we'll roll with it. The powers that be just really want me to work. Work on my blends in my Teresa Wetzler. So we're going to go with it. All right, ready? Number two, number two. Number two. Blooming Bride by Mirabilia. Oh, snap, I am so excited. I haven't pulled this one yet. It's quite a goal, a thousand stitches. Who knows if we'll get it done by the next time but it's okay you know what i'm gonna do i never showed a picture of it because i don't have the actual pattern i just have a working pattern um so i am going to pull up a picture for you real quick um hold a second Blooming Pride, Mirabilia, go. There it is. Oh my God, my leg is like shaking and I can't stop it. Oh, that's a horrible picture. Come on, Google. Work with me here. Okay, this one looks good. There we go. That is her in all her glory. Although it looks like this is some something that somebody stitched and they left out part of the pattern. So guess what? We're gonna find a different one. That one's, it's a little grainy, but it's okay. There she is. I am doing the black and white checkered stripe because it's total 90s vibes. And that's when this pattern is from. I am so sorry. I just burped. So, I started from the bottom on this one. And that's where I am. This is my Miro with the most progress on it. I started this as some of you. Oh, my phone just said low battery. Fuck. Oh my God, I just dropped an F bomb. I'm sorry. Fudge. We got to hurry it up, people. All right, one more, one more pick. One more, one more, one more. One more. Little post-its. That are peak proof. I can't even see them. Beach Day Recipe by Stitch Rovia. My first pattern ever. Cross stitch pattern ever. That is what it looks like. Here's my pro progress. And I'm definitely going to get some quality stitches in that. I'm glad I chose it. 
because that's another one of my patterns that I'm probably most far along in. So that's it for my picks. Um, a couple of plans. I have been wanting to stitch Seaside Kingdom by Mirabilia forever, but I haven't found a fabric. I didn't really want to do the called for fabric. I wanted something a little bit more of my flair with it. Here's the pattern, of course. It is originally done on 32 count white linen, um, but I bought, this is the one other fabric I found from, um, I found uh, from the Crafty Grimalkin. This is Atomic Ranch called Ocean Sand. It is a 40 count linen. But look at this, it's the beach. I saw this and I immediately thought of this pattern and I was like, okay, it looks more white, but it's actually a very light sand color. But I saw this and I was like, oh, but it's only on 40. They only had 40 count available. And I was like, what if I do a Mira 40 count? This does come with a lot of beads. So I would have to, I would have to convert the beads to um, something smaller if need be. If any of you stitch Mira's or Nora's on higher count fabric and you have experience with converting beads, let me know. You can message me or comment. I would love to know uh, what you did. Um, these are calling for glass seed beads. Um, and some treasures, but we'll see. I love this fabric and I really wanna do this pattern on it. So I'm hoping I can make it work. So that's one plan. Another plan is, of course, another Mira. This is English Roses. It's ND14. It, I believe it is out of print. Um, it's from 1995. I just think this is so beautiful. The picture on here doesn't do this justice. Um, I've seen some finished pieces on um, Instagram and it's, they're gorgeous. So I chose a peachy color for this instead of the called for Desert Stan Sand Linen by Weichel, uh, Wichel. I wanna do mine on, call. it's called Peach Me Perfect. It looks a little bit more orange, it's more pinky, but it's a bright peach color. And I just think, I did do a floss toss with the stuff on here and I think it would look gorgeous. The only thing that I'm worried about is I need to know if anybody that has stitched this, where can I find YLI silk ribbon? Does anybody know where I can find the silk ribbon so I can do the silk roses? I know there is somebody on Instagram that shows how to do those silk roses because I watched it before and was like in awe of how she did them. But yeah, like there's all these um, uh, silk roses that are that are done around the piece and it's so pretty, it's stunning, it's stunning. It's stunning and I wanna do it. My next thoughts, one more Mira and then I have two other planned things to show you is Stargazer. She's a beaut, MD88, and this is stitched on 28 count amber toasted almond linen. I was perusing Fiberlicious's website. Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers, you are a genius with your color. Um, and I specifically got this um, linen for this pattern because I ordered, I don't normally order 28 count, but I ordered 28 count opalescent linen. You guys, I'm gonna freak out.
my stargazer is going to be gazing at a nebulous. Yes, she is. How awesome is that? Nebulous gazer. I am excited. So excited and I just can't hide it. Okay. I have two, two more. My first Hulk Run Hollow, the shores of Hulk Run Hollow. I love the beach nautical theme. My favorite is the whale. Love it to death. Do I have the fabric? Yes, I do. I am doing this on a 40 count Cafe Orlat. Cafe Orlat. I have no idea who it's by. Oh, Shakespeare's Peddler. Oh my gosh. Teresa, the kitten stitcher, I believe, right? But look how nice that is. It's still got the modeling that I love, but it's very, um, it's not like crazy because I know there's a lot of stuff going on in this pattern and I don't want the linen to overtake the pattern. But this is a beautiful piece. Shakespeare's Peddler. I am doing the called for NPI silks. I kitted this up for over a year. Oh my God, all my crap just fell on the floor. Um, I bought all the silks um, over a year. I did it in small increments. So it'll be worth it, I'm excited. So that is the one, one more plan. And then my last plan, I was enabled by a floss tuber by the name of, her name is Heidi. Her, her channel name is Potty Mouth Stitcher. Go check her out. She is so funny. If you like my sense of humor, you will love her as well. But she was doing Seasons by the Sea by Jeanette Douglas and I fell in love. So I got all four seasons, right? And I think this is stitched on 32 count. So all four seasons. And I only got, I only kitted up one. Not kitted up one, bought the floss pack for one. Which one do I have? Spring by the Sea, that's the floss pack. So I'll start with spring. But I got this on the third and final linen that came in the Volcano Stitching uh, Cat Mystery Box. And I'm gonna do it on this, it, there's no name to it, but it is a white, very soft brown, brownish color modeling there. And I just thought it was a beautiful muted modeling. And I think it would, go well with that the, that pattern so so thank you Heidi I appreciate your you enabling me and speaking of floss tubers the last thing I'm going to mention are a couple of floss tubers I just found and have been watching and enjoying the one was of course uh, potty mouth stitcher Heidi um, another one is Morvent Maid Beth she is so sweet and she has such a great mixture of patterns as well full coverage she does a little bit of everything she does quakers prim santas she does beautiful christmas pieces um beth morvent made i love the way you do your um editing of your videos you gotta let me know your secret beth okay let me know i want to be like you and then last but not least um, is a new Floss Uber. She's fairly new as well. She's new to me. Her name is Beck and her channel name is Whisker City Stitcher. She's very cool. She has some really cool Halloween patterns and she has some very cool crafting ideas in general. 
her channel is, um, she uh, works, uh, I think she has an estate sale business. So she picks up some really cool antique -y stuff. I keep saying cool, but it's, it is, it's so awesome. It's awesome. Um, but she has all these great ideas for all these crafts and, and she shows you her cross stitching pattern. She does, um, you know, different crafts she sews and I enjoy her stories. So definitely go check her out. Whisker City Stitcher. And that's all I got. I don't know when the next time my phone's going to die. So I have to shut this video off. I don't know when the next time I'm going to film, maybe in a few weeks. We'll see. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and thank you for spending your Saturday night with me. Although it, at the time, by the time I get this loaded, it'll probably be Sunday. So I hope you enjoy watching me tomorrow on Sunday, which is today is January 20th, 2024. I always like to put a date in there when I go back and watch so I can see. But I hope you guys are staying warm and cuddly and getting all the stitches in. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.